guys. So today's video is another slime test and this one is requested by you guys actually over and over again I've been seeing comments about using contact slash eye drop solution. So we're going to test it out today and see how that's going to work out. Hopefully good, but if not, at least you guys will get to see my fails or my success. DJ Khaled. So if it worked out, it would be great. And if it doesn't work out, you guys will be able to see where I went wrong. And hopefully it would help you guys to make a better slime at home. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so today I'm going to start off with two different Shopkins plates and you guys really seem to like Shopkins so I brought it back and one plate I'm going to use eye drop solution and the other one I will use contact solution as you guys suggested and let's just compare to see how both of it actually work out. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of difference between the contact solution and eye drops at this stage and that's why I decided to go ahead and add shaving gel. You guys suggested that shaving gel actually works really well with eye drops so I also decided to add it to my contact solution and let's just see which one turns out to be better. So I noticed immediately that it got really foamy and I decided to add more eye drops because I feel like maybe I just added too much shaving gel and that is why it's not really looking like slime at this point. And I also added a little bit more shaving gel because again this was a test and I had no idea what was the problem at this point. So I added more shaving gel and then I attempted to add more glue to the mixture because I thought maybe there wasn't enough glue. And yeah, it just turned into a huge mess. And after mixing for a while, I realized the only thing that actually mattered is the amount of eye drops that you put in and not so much the contact solution because it wasn't really doing anything at this point still. And so I decided to take like a much better brand of eye drops which is Visine and that is what everyone uses on YouTube. And I wanted to compare to the Equate version which is more of a generic brand and I wanted to see which one does better. Like a soldier on a battleground Lying wounded on the field I was fighting along with a broken sword Now I'm caught in a world So there isn't much of a difference when you just add eye drops and glue But when you start to add the shaving gel, that's when the reaction happens And that's when you can actually see it becoming more like slime And I noticed that the Visine becomes more slime-like faster than the Equate eye drops The Equate eye drops takes like several more drops before it becomes slime As you can see, the Visine is already slime-like And I feel like that's really the main difference between the two eye drops If I were to make a recommendation I would definitely recommend Visine, but I understand Visine is more expensive. So if you just have a generic brand, you could also use it as well, but you just have to put more eye drops. So now I want to actually try it in my hands and see if I could play with it without having any trouble. I notice it's very sticky, um, it gets all over your hands at first, but you're gonna have to roll it around your hands a couple of times, maybe add a little bit more eye drops in between, and then you come across something like this where you can actually touch it without being too sticky to your hands. Of course, when you pull it apart, the stickiness will come back, but for the most part, I would say it's a pretty decent piece of slime.
And for the final finale of this video, I decided to test the clear glue instead of the white glue that I've been using. And already I see that the eye drops are starting to bounce off the glue, which is something i never seen in the first part of the test with the white glue. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And when I start to mix it, I only add a little bit of shaving gel. But mind you guys, do not add a lot of shaving gel. You will regret yourself. So yes, put a little bit, you will be fine. As you can see, it's starting to get really sticky and it's almost tearing my tinfoil apart. So I think that is a good sign. So my final thoughts about this method is that I feel like Visine works the best out of the eye drops that I use and also it works the best with clear glue. If you guys do try this at home, make sure you use clear glue. And I think it's a good piece of slime, so I would definitely recommend this method. I would say it was a pretty, pretty big success. Alright guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I know I had so much fun doing test videos for you guys because I just never know what to expect when I do these videos and I think part of the fun is actually doing something that you don't really know how the outcome is going to be and it's also fun for you guys to watch my overall experiences. So if you enjoyed it, I have other videos on my channel that are slime tests. Definitely check it out. I will link it down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!